Shalom. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, by Shem Kadash, the one to the apostles of GMS of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Metro wants bus trips to be faster and getting rid of cash may be the answer. Metro's newest fare proposal may be one small step for harried riders who use one of its express bus routes and one giant leap for the future of bus transportation in the Washington region. The Metro Board on Thursday approved a pilot program that will require all passengers on the Metro Extra Route 79 to pay their fare with a sm smart trip card that has been loaded with money before boarding the bus. For the next six months, riders on that bus, which runs with limited stops from Silver Spring Metro Station through Petworth and Shell to Gallery Place in the district, will not be allowed to pay their fare with cash. All right. And that's coming soon, man. All right. All throughout of America and, and this whole world, right? This whole world is going to, uh, you know, uh, soon experience that, man. All right. And, and, and China is already, what, 90% uh, cashless. All right. They use their phones out there, all right? And this is coming here to America, all right? And this is here in America, all right? In Washington, in the Washington region, okay? Soon, soon, uh, you won't be able to pay um, for things with cash anymore, all right? It's going to be that RFID chip, all right? And they're slowly implanting, you know, this RFID te technology every single day, okay? They promote it with the phones, all right? Uh, now, when you go to do laundry, all right, none of these barely, none of these laundries anymore use cash. They use a card, man, with the RFID chip in it, okay. And that's how I do my laundry, man. All right, I have to use a laundry card, all right, and put money in it, okay. But soon that they're gonna get rid of that, man, and and, and the new thing is gonna be the RFID chip, all right. But well, they're gonna get rid of that, and they're gonna you know probably say use your phones, you know, and and, and, and you know. Later on, it's going to be that RFID chip, okay? They're programming the people to, to, to get used to this uh, uh, cur uh, digital currency, all right? So that way they can bring out that RFID chip, man, all right? But continuing, or to load cash onto their card as they pass the onboard fare machine. The short-term restriction is part of an experiment to see whether a simple change can speed up express bus service all right, and that's the thing, man. All right, because a, a lot of people here in America, you know, are, 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 are like things quick, man. All right, uh, fast food. All right, you got the self checkout line, okay. And when you go to your self checkout lines, the the damn line be long as hell, man. It still be long. All right, well, I, I was in Walmart the other day, man. That shit got me mad, yo. Okay, here it is. They got fifty registers, man, and only two, uh, uh, two, uh, two cashiers are operating. Uh, 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 the the the. You know, um, the 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 regular uh, cash machines, and then you you only got one lane for the self checkout, man. And you have like fifty employees in there, man. All right, and, and it's not like they can't uh 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 put more people on the, on the registers, man. They only leave two registers open and, and one self uh, one self uh checkout uh line open, man. And, and the lines be long as hell, man. All right. And they do that on purpose, man. All right. But anyways, uh, like I was saying, uh, the short term restriction is part of an experiment to see whether a simple change can speed up uh, express bus services, improve reliability and draw more riders. Metro officials are trying to tackle the problem known in transit industry parallels as dwell time. The time a bus spends idolizing, idolizing, idling with its doors open as passengers board or a light for an average bus dwell time can add up to a third of its total time travel according to the research from the national association of city transportation officials about 12 percent of transactions on the metro bus system involve cash but metro's data suggests that those transactions account for 24 percent of the dwell time along bus routes cash free boarding may help reduce those delays you see man not so lies man you know, th this is Esau being the devil, man. All right, he's pushing out that RFID um technology more and more. Right, he's make he wants to make everything go cashless, man. Okay, everything, all your jobs are gonna uh, uh require you for the, uh require you for t uh, to take that RFID chip. Okay, 
If you want to get a job, you got to take that RFID chip. Even if it's a crappy ass job, McDonald's, you want to work for McDonald's, you're going to have to take that RFID chip. Okay? You want to clean toilets, well, you're going to have to get the RFID chip. Okay? Whether small or great, man, you're going to have to get that RFID chip. All right, like the scriptures say, he calls of all both small and great. You know, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Okay? And that's that RFID chip, man. All right? That's fastly approaching. It is something that a trend in the industry, Metro General Manager Paul J. Whitfield said, but we wanted to see how that plays out here in our community. So let's see what the pilot tells us about that. You see, man? And, and that's ESO, man. All right? Before Esau, you know, uh, 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 pushes out this RFID chip, he wants to see how the people react to it, man. Okay? And he's going to make it uh, optional, but then he's going to make it mandatory, all right? Riders who don't have cash will be able to use the regular 70 bus, which runs along th the same route but makes more frequent stops. The board action also formally establishes a cash-free bus program, a, pro a procedent, slakia. A procedural step that m would make it possible to implant the new fare payment policy on other express bus routes throughout the system in the future. So lucky for the reading. Uh, just reading a little quick. But um, the bus toward cash-free bus service could signal a desire by Metro administrators to introduce other features inherent to rapid transit service, such as pre-boarding payment systems, design bus lanes, and synchronized traffic signals transit officials in cities around the world are trying to find ways to help buses move fast through through traffic better at approximating the experience of subway service at a small fraction of the operating and infrastructure cost you see man this is happening globally globally see no matter what country you from right the uh, your bus you know transportation all right wherever you know whatever bus transportation these other countries have you know they're they're planning the same thing man okay get rid of cash all right and, and, and use some type of digital currency all right w which makes things move uh, faster all right and it helps you get to your destination much faster without you having to count count your cash and you know wasting all that time all right the pilot program on the 79 Express bus will be begin June 24th. There will be a public hearing in the late September to discuss whether Metro should make the change per permanent. It's going to happen. It's going to be permanent. And a Metro commit will vote in November whether to codify the payment policy on the Metro Extra, Extra 79 or other bus route or other express bus routes. According to Metro Research, it takes seven to eight seconds for each passenger to pay with cash. You see? Compare with two to four seconds with smart trip card payments. You see, and that's gonna be with the RFID chip, man. It's gonna take a second, man. Not even two or four seconds. It's gonna take a second. Just scan your hand and, and, and go sit down, man. Okay. We're moving. We're already in this digital age, man. Now there's just a small remnant, you know, of the old system. All right. Just all this cash, you know, checks, and a lot of people don't even use checks anymore, man. Okay. Everybody uses their their, their their debit cards, credit cards, okay, their phones, all right. This old system is get is, is about getting ready to be you know thrown out and and, and, and put in this new system, which is uh, everything goes everything is digital, man, okay. For passengers trying to load their smart their smart trip card with cash while boarding, the average transaction time increases to at least ten seconds. Those time differences seem marginal until you multiply them by the dozens of passengers who board a bus line during each run on a route. While board members were generally supportive of the proposal, there were concerns that, and some wariness. Board member Michelle Goldman said he would like to see it extend to other bus routes if it results in a shorter bus ride, but he remains concerned about the potential for confrontations between bus drivers and riders, a problem that is on upswinging according to recent safety data. Exactly, man. All right, and, and and when this RFID chip comes out, you know the people are are are, are, are gonna uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, they're gonna have confrontations between them and the government, man. All right.
a lot of people are not going to accept this this RFID chip, all right? And that's when Esau is going to roll out that martial law, man, all right? And make the people willingly, uh, uh, forcefully, you know, uh, uh, to take the RFID chip, okay? Will drivers need to inform riders with cash that they suddenly not allowed to ride the bus? We shouldn't be putting bus operators in confrontational situations, Goldman said. So they should have a clear guidance. Whitfield said Metro staff will be posted at points along the 79 bus routes to educate riders about the new policy. And drivers will be trained on how to respond to confused or frustrated customers. You see, man, it's all being double, man. All right. It's pushing out this digital currency more and more and more, all right, every single day, every every single second, every single hour, all right? We'll figure out those issues, Winfield said. A representative from the Riders Adv Advisory Committee pointed out that the, there often is a 24-hour delay when customers use Metro Mobile app to reload their smart trip card. Exactly, man, all right? Because you, you're going to have problems with the phones too, all right? Some people's phones might die, all right? So how are they going to pay, all right? But without our FID chip, all right, it, 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 it's it, it's um, what you call it? it, it it's not gonna uh, uh, it's not gonna um, the, it's not gonna be uh, you, you don't have to charge it, man, all right? Cause it's gonna it's gonna use uh uh, uh you know y your body is, is gonna um ch is gonna be the one to charge that RFID chip, all right? Cause within our bodies, you know uh, uh we have um uh uh. What you call it? Um, electricity, man. All right. Our heart, you know, uh, uh, um, throws electricity, man. All right. It has electricity for it to pump, man. Okay. So we, uh, our bodies, you know, uh, 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 you know, um, are gonna be uh, uh, um, the ones to charge those RFID chips, man. All right. Metro Mobile's app to reload their smart trip cards a glitch in the system that could cause problems for commuters trying to avoid paying cash so they can board the 79 express others express concerns for those who use cash for most of their financial transactions partially poor and low income residents who are less likely to have access to credit cards to set up automatic reloading for smart trip cards and a large amount of cash to load into a card you see it calls of all small both small and great man rich and poor to receive a mark Okay, even the even the, 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 the poor people are gonna um, have to take that RFID chip. Okay, this is something that we've always worried about for the disability community because there is a group that doesn't have access to anything but cash, said Philip Posner, chairman of Metro's Accessibility Advisory Committee. Statistically, people with disabilities are more likely to fall below the poverty level because of challenges in finding well paying jobs. Posner suggested Metro scale back the pilot for example by prohibiting people from loading cash onto their smart trip card while boarding which can often be longer and more complicated process than simple paying a single fare with cash but low income people may also be the demo demo gem, demographic that stands to gain the most from metro pilots said aaron villery a senior program associate in the national association of city transportation officials Low-income communities tend to be undeserved by subways and disproportionately relying on bus service by making bus fast, bus fat, buses faster and more efficient. Transit agencies can improve equity across neighborhoods and demographics. An effort like cash-free policies prohibiting fare payments where riders pay at a fare machine at a bus stop before the bus arrives and all doors boarding. Letting people board through the front of or back doors can also help transaction agencies save money. You see, and Esau's gonna, you know, when he brings out this RFID chip, he's gonna uh, package it real nice for you, man. He might say, yeah, here's a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars in it if you take it, okay? And who's gonna who's gonna do that? The poor man, uh, uh, the poor, you know, our, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, we're the poorest people on the planet Earth, man. All right, especially here in America, okay? Because we got curses on us, all right? As we're trying to attract people back to buses and improve operations and make services more efficient, the benefits won't come from driving buses faster. They're going to come from reducing the causes of delay, 
really said that's where the savings are you can run more service with the same amount of money or you can use a few resource to run the same amount of service hey salaki for my reading i'm just reading it too so fast you know, i i i read fast but salaki for that but you know the point is you know esau you know he's being the devil all right he's he wants to push out that rfid chip and and he's using uh the uh small commodities that people use every day you know the bus transportation you know the food all right he's attacking the small things you know the things that people use every day all right and then he's gonna you know get to the bigger things man all right <clears throat> he wants to make everything digital man he wants everybody chipped all right that's the plan of the new world order man all right to be their slave man if you take that chip you're you're their property man you're their slave they control you man they could take whatever money you have out man if you owe taxes without you you're saying man okay that's total controlment okay but with that you know uh, i like to give all praises and glory and honor to you how about shimia shai by hashem or kakodash the honor to the apostles of gms of great millstone and shalom to the elect shalom